uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a fireball script and I'm gonna preview it before I show you guys so now we're gonna enter the game and I don't mind my keyboard if it's really loud but hey so we have a dummy right if you use a fireball it's gonna hit the dummy it's gonna disappear when it hits the dummy and if it doesn't hit the dummy it's just gonna disappear every one second and it does damage and it depends on like where your mouse is hitting you and it also does not hit the player it only hits the the dummy so the other humanoid and now i'll be showcasing the script of how i did it so first you want to make a the first one make a local script inside start, starter player and then you want to put a local script inside starter character scripts right then boom this is basically our 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 key press so when the player presses the key uh we fire a remote event and the key we made our key uh e you could uh we just made the key bond like this you could you could either do it like uh let me just show you uh dot e but we just use key bond so we get our user input service uh we get replicate storage and we have deb and deb is basically we're just using that for our cooldown so they can't spam the move then we just input began do we then we run input to the parameters so if so then we run if input.key code equals m uh, 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 whatever that enum enum dot key code right <laughs> and then and not deb and not basically and not false then debounce equals true then we're gonna have our cooldown and then debounce will equal false so whatever this is is how long the cooldown is so we, our cooldown is one second and then we wanna then inside the parameters for the fire server, we're just passing through uh, passing through uh, the mouse mouse dot hit dot position. That's what P is. This is, we're basically just getting the mouse dot hit dot position. And uh, then you wanna go to server script service right, make a script. And then you wanna set your variables. You wanna make a speed variable, a survive variable, and a damage variable. I mean. You, you don't need to make this, but it's it, it's easy to make the script look nice, right? So you want to get your service replicated storage, right? And then you will, and we are going to have a uh, replicated storage that fireball event and fireball event is the remote event that we're going to be using, right? And don't forget to have a fireball inside your replicated storage, right? So if I were just to take this fireball all right now, it would look like this, right? I could customize it all I want. Like I could, I can make it like blue, like, 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 a, a, like a lightish blue, right? And if I was to move back to public case storage, it would still work because it's the name Fireball, right? Then we have Fireball event, right? So look, public case storage dot Fireball event, our remote event, on server event, connect function, and we're running player and the hit position. And hit hit position uh, is basically basically this right here. It's just mouse dot hit dot position. And now we're gonna say this is we're just doing all this just to locate if it's actually the player. So if player and if player dot character, if player dot character dot primary part and primary part is basically the humanoid root part. And uh, if uh, this is basically just if humanoid. Uh, then we're gonna clone the fireball and we just named it clone because yeah you can name whatever you want. You can name it fireball to make it easier for you. Maybe you might have a lot of fire named things named fireball. But okay, so we're gonna name it clone. And we're gonna clone the fireball from inside the replicate storage because we don't want to just use one fireball and then it's just gonna give us an error because we can't use it no more. They can't find inside a uh, replicate storage. And then we're gonna parent it to the workspace so we can actually use it. And now we're gonna position this. We're gonna position this in front of the character, right? We're basically just positioning it in front of the character. So player dot character dot uh, primary part. Remember, primary part is like the human root part. Dot C frame point to world space vector 3.new and then we're just positioning it we're just positioning it in front of the player from the negative 5 from the z axis right and now we're making a variable called bv and it's basically standing for body velocity and we're going to parent this body velocity to the fireball right and our fireball is named clone so you could also just do bv.parent equals clone or just do it inside here anyways fine so then you want to make uh then you want to get the max force and then we just i just did uh method uh, vector 3.new and we got mapped out huge because uh because you can put like fifty thousand, but like yeah i feel like the numbers gotta be the numbers gotta be really big in here you know just just has to be really big right and then i honestly don't know what p does so i just put mapped out huge again then we have body velocity dot velocity right so this right here is the line that's basically making like the mouse wherever your mouse is 
and it's basically getting the speed and the mouse wherever the mouse goes where the fireball is going to go right so we're going to do cframe.new right we're going to get the fireball position and then we're going to get the mouse position right and then we're going to do dot look vector and then we're going to get then we're going to get our speed and our speed is 100 so after that right after we get the speed of the fireball and we basically have everything down right now you want to get damage because you don't want you don't want to just have a fireball and not hit somebody <laughs> that would be <laughs> kind of useless i mean hey but hey right so now we're going to do things a little bit different right so we're going to make a table right and we're going to name it dev right you can name the table anything you want right we're just going to name it dev because it reminds me of debounce right so then we're going to make a touch function then we're going to make a, a touch function right so clone.touch so when the fireball is touched and connect the function if um uh, if, if it's hit by the humanoid if it's hit by the humanoid then if not table dot find so it's gonna f so if it cannot find a table uh this table deb and it doesn't have hit dot parent dot humanoid in it and if hit dot parent dot humanoid is not equal to player dot character find for shot humanoid so this is this line is basically like making sure it doesn't like hit the the character like us basically the person that's using the move then it's going to put then it's gonna uh put hit that parent that humanoid inside the table dev and then uh then when it then when the uh, player gets hit by the uh fireball we want to get rid of the fireball so it doesn't like linger around so then we're going to do dead we're going to make debris so game dot debris add item clone then we're going to uh, put clone in here the item that we want to uh the item that we're trying to delete add back and then we're going to see how long we want it to to be here right and then we're going to just get take let the humanoid take damage right and then we have our damage right here that'll be 12 right and then at the end of the script you just have something simple so like game.debris add item clone the the part the um the fireball that, the fireball that we're using right then we're gonna have survive survive is one so it's gonna survive for one second so this means the fireball is gonna after one second and the fireball didn't hit nothing it's just lingering it's just gonna just disappear out of nowhere after one second and if i was to play this again you would see that the fireball deletes after one second. If I was to press E, and you see that the fireball color also changed because we just moved it from the replicate storage and moved it to workspace. You see that we can, and if we, if we try to spam E, we can't spam E because we have a cooldown of one second. So look, even if I try to point it towards myself, it doesn't hit the humanoid. So basically that's how you make a fireball and if you guys have any suggestions uh make sure you put them into the comments because like yeah uh, thanks for watching